Hey guys, it's Lisa with Sales Vision, Sales Vision 100 Video Challenge, and it is day 73, video 73 today. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, it's Tuesday, happy Tuesday, and we've been doing meditation the past few days. The 21 day meditation experience at chopracentermeditation.com. And the link is in my description to sign up for this free 21 day meditation experience. We're on day five today. And um, the reason we're doing it for 21 days is it takes 21 days to develop a habit. And we wanna develop a daily habit of a meditation practice. We've been talking about self-care. Yesterday we talked about self-care and again today for day five, we're gonna talk about tuning in for self-care. Today's centering thought is, I attune my attention to my body. I attune my attention to my body. Okay, the uh, message of the day, tuning in for self-care. Be a part of our changing world. It starts from within. Deepak Chopra. In every moment, our bodies are communicating to us what they need to stay in balance. But too often, we disregard or ignore this flow of information. Today's meditation teaches us how to tune into these signals, both positive and negative. When we get signals that our bodies are fatigued, tense, in pain, or lethargic, it's important to listen and act to bring ourselves back into balance. And when we get positive signals that our bodies are rested, content, alert, and relaxed, it's also important that we recognize this state of balance and reinforce it as our natural state of being. How we respond to the body's signals is the essence of self-care. So we wanna listen and be aware of the signals from our body, both positive and negative, and when we're aware, you know, we can figure out things. We can know when we're sick or know when we're relaxed, know what type of action we need to take. Now, the reflections um, to tune in for self-care after the meditation, you want to fill out these reflections. They help you um, think about what you've learned. And first question is, what is the number one thing that makes your body feel energized, fresh, and renewed? When you acknowledge, oops, one second. Okay, without judgment, ask yourself, what's the number one signal of discomfort I tend to ignore in my body? For example, if you're sitting at the computer for a long time and your back starts to hurt, but you continue working anyways, what kind of symptoms do you sometimes not notice and not pay attention to that you kind of ignore? Think about, you know, what type of, how your body reacts to certain negative situations. Kind of like when I'm working and I ignore that I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and by the time I do pay attention to it, I have to run to the bathroom. So then you want to write down one simple way you can start to respond to these signals of discomfort. For example, I can run to the bathroom the minute I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Or if your back begins to hurt when you've been sitting for a while, you can take five minutes to do some simple stretches or you can put a pillow behind your back. So when you're aware of your symptoms and or your, your signals, you can decide what action to take to alleviate them. Okay, um, the Sanskrit mantra is hum it's pronounced hum it's h-a-m but it's pronounced hum and my body and my mind are aligned in awareness there it is my body and mind are aligned in awareness and then i'll play a little bit of this i don't want to play too much because of the copyright violation you can listen to it on your own but i'll, I'll play a little of what they have to say 
and don't forget um, you know if, if you get distracted by your symptoms I mean by by body um, sensations or thoughts you just go back to repeating to yourself hum hum that's the mantra A mantra is to refocus you recenter you when when you start to get distracted bring you back to that state of expanded awareness that you want to maintain throughout the meditation The ability to tune into your body is an invaluable skill on the path to healing and renewal. Modern life provides a lot of reasons to tune out. It is full of environments that are noisy, stressful, and require rushing and endless demands on our time and energy. Turning your back and trying to ignore these assaults is a natural reaction. But it isn't the same as tuning in. The active mind is also reactive. It is affected by stress, noise, and distractions. But at a deeper level, the mind is steady, unchanging, and unaffected by external pressure of any kind. If you can tune in, you acquire true control over your own life. So let's learn how, and then Deepak will lead us into meditation. Okay, that's enough of that. And then you want to go ahead and meditate for 10 minutes. Um, it's about 10 minutes, and Deepak will lead you through the 10-minute meditation. And remember, if you get distracted or you hear sounds that distract you or your thoughts start running away or you're, you're noticing an itch or something... Go back to that Sanskrit mantra, that one word mantra, hum, hum, and that will help you get back to that expanded state of awareness, that part of the mind that is underneath the crazy monkey mind, beneath that is a layer of calm. And that's what you're, you're going to, a, a state of expanded awareness where you can feel calm no matter where you are you can access that you know eventually you won't need to meditate to access it if you're in your car or you're at work and, and something happens and, and you need to get back to that state of calm you'll be aware and mindful enough when your body starts to feel anxious that you need to get to that place of inner calm through, through breathing and and you know through through relaxing your body and it takes practice it really does uh thank you for tuning in and i will see you guys tomorrow i'm not feeling that well so i'm going to say bye for now the heat kind of had me under the weather today but tomorrow's another day don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get put like i mean give me a thumbs up if you like the content and smash the bell so that you get notified of my next video okay have a great day and night you guys and i love you and namaste